all right hello 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 welcome back to the channel thank you for joining in with me today Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. And welcome to those of you who are just stopping by for a quick view. Thank you all for joining in with me today. As you see from the title of the video, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this beautiful energy, seeing what's going on between you and them. And we do have it set up a little bit differently this year. I can't believe it's, all, it's been nearly a year since I've done these, but yeah, regardless y'all. So I have it set up as, um, well, before I even get into all of it, let me just say that. Please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. As it states in the description box, these readings are intended to be timeless. Time and energy are fluid meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that Spirit has for you within the reading. Please keep in mind that they are general. Not all may apply to you and that's perfectly okay. Take what does, let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I do not know your life. Please use your discernment, all right? We also don't get down with gender roles over here. However, you will likely hear me say he and or she in reference to masculine and or feminine energies, which we all have both within us. So roles may be reversed, flip up yourself as you need to. Do not force that shoe to fit if it doesn't. I am not responsible for your feet, your toes, one of currents hurting y'all, because you're trying to force something that wasn't intended for you in the first place, okay? I also am big on numerology. Whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day and or month that you're born, potentially the house you may want to pay particular attention to within your natal chart, whatever, what have you, all right? Could just be confirmation that you need to pay particular attention at that point in the message. No idea. <laughs> all decks will be listed below for your reference if you so choose. So speaking about the setup, these are the headers and they are like the overall energy for you both. And I do still have it set up as you and them, but please keep in mind you could be flip-flopping through the energies. Them can be a person, place, or thing. Could be just talking about um, friend, family, or otherwise, even if it is romantic, you know what I'm saying? It just, it's whatever. It could just be your spirit squad, you know, whatever. Fire where it lies, otherwise let it fly. The um, first row of clarifiers, it's you're feeling towards them, they're feeling towards you. The second row is um, past actions or energy. And then the third row is current actions or energy. And then the final row, the fourth row, is future potential action or energy, okay? Again, depending on your timeline, any of this could have already transpired, may have, may not have transpired yet, or currently transpiring. I don't know, all right? And then in the end, we're gonna pull from the Power of Love Oracle to get overall advice going forward for all, any and all involved, okay? All right, but before we go any further, let me get a quick word of prayer. To the Most High, Heavenly and Divine, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for this day and this opportunity yet again. Thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages straight and clear to the collective no chaser. Thank you for the gift of reason, of insight, of awareness, the gift of the tongue, of the voice. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that clarity. I pray as always that the message of lifts, enlightens, heals, strengthens, protects, nurtures, nourishes, Please bring forth whatever the viewer may need and may it play out for the utmost and highest good as I know you will see fit. I also ask for the prayer of protection. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Lock, bind, unwind, cut cords and ties. Simply transmute any low vibe, negative energy and or entities coming in to steal, kill and destroy or cause hurt, harm or danger. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for the love and support. Yeah, most importantly, thank you. Thank you. All these blessings I come ask and give thanks yet again. Ashe, 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 all. All right, now let's get on into it. 
So in the meditation and channeling and during pre-shuffle, the song that I got for you, and I'll try to remember to link it if I can, is um, Anthony Hamilton's Southern Stuff. So I love this song. You got that Cadillac, cool breeze in the 70s. The Southern Stuff I like. You got that Southern Stuff I like. Yeah, go check it out. But uh, so somebody may be from the South, may got that Southern swag and vibe. Y'all may, even if you're not from the South, you may live in the South and that's wherever you're from, okay? Or wherever you currently may reside, whatever, I don't know. And um, it's something else that's going, that came to mind uh, as I was doing pre-shuffling because he talks about the, uh, what he said. Oh God, I'm not look at the lyrics. I said I wasn't gonna forget. Hold on, y'all. Okay, that's crazy. I paused it. It's 606. So I'm telling you, this is some kind of balanced, stable, harmonized union of connection. All right. And even the six is bringing me to the six of cups. I may have been childhood friends. You know what I'm saying? You may have known each other. So maybe somebody from your childhood or from your neighborhood. Something like that. It could be somebody from even Georgia or Carolina. Because I'm going to go through the lyrics real quick with you. You know, it says, You like a Cadillac, cool breeze in the 70s, you and me. Holding hands, talking family, that's the other thing I like. You got that southern stuff I like. It's like after school, feeling hard cause I'm into you. Barbecue, I leave it open up the door for you. I know that's what you like. You got that southern stuff I like. Like, like, anyway, he says, sweet southern thing, pretty skin, hair fixed. And when you grin, that's when all life begins. Cool like a fresh breeze, oh please come with me. Let's take a ride, swing to the other side. I'm much obliged to make your acquaintance. You're full of substance and oh girl, I love it. Goes into the chorus and then he goes, Miss Georgia Peach, Carolina when you speak, your Southern draw makes me want to know you more. Do you want a big family? Well, if so, I can handle it. Hey, somebody want to make a family with you, honey. It says, a gentleman, do the very best I can, provide for you. I know you want to finish school. Intelligence, this is the line where it came in because it, it was bringing me to this, which says trust in the science, which we'll get to in a moment. But it says, intelligence is beauty, girl. I want to be your study, all right? Because as soon as this came out, I was like, the chemistry is strong. You know what I mean? Like between you two or whoever this is, you know, it's very, very strong. So intelligence is beauty, girl. I want to be your study. And then it goes into like the pre-chorus, if that's what I can call it, but I know just what you like. And then it, you know, he's um, saying little ad-lib and in the mix of that. Southern loving girl, all you really need from me, what you need, Southern loving girl, and then I can set you free, which is crazy because I believe freedom came out as the overall energy or advice going forward for whoever all involved. If you didn't check it out, I highly recommend you do so. And then it goes into the chorus and pretty much finishes with the outro, okay? So yeah, I feel like that resonates with somebody heavy. Anyways, getting on into this. So I really don't want to mess with these, but I know you want to up close and personally look at it, but it, cause it, I mean, it took me a minute to even get them to sit up there right. But y'all got a lot going on over here. And here we have be neutral, okay? I'm hearing Kendrick, be humble, sit down. There's something about this third eye here, six chakra that's really calling to me, okay? Have a balanced and stable mind is what I just heard. Then we have made for motion, heavy fire energy. Could be uh, Leo, Aries, Sage, doesn't have to be, or either one of y'all have a heavy in your chart, okay? And when I, I forgot to mention in disclaimer, when I call out signs, I'm typically channeling for sun, moon, rising, Venus, north and or south nodes, but it honestly can be anywhere in your chart. And y'all should know by now, if you don't, we are all, we all signs affect us in some shape, form or fashion, okay? Anyways, and then finally we have open your mind. And every time I get this card, I hear a uh, uh, big creek. Open your mind. <laughs> open your, open your, open your mind. I think that's how the song go anyway. But um, so the, like, it definitely goes hand in hand. So I feel like there's heavy emphasis on, cause I'm even getting like with this made for motion, like 
get out and move your body, dance even. There's something about moving that energy, sexually, you know, even, or just like being sensual, even I heard seductive, you know what I'm saying? Get into that divine feminine, just that beauty that he was talking about and Southern stuff, but like, so that you can free your mind and open your mind, right? And not be stagnant in your mental space. See things more clearly, like receive that enlightenment, whatever, what have you, okay? Heavy emphasis on the third eye and crown chakra here. I may even want to work with the color blue. You may be dealing with air sign for me to say that about the mental body and all of that. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you have that heavy in your chart, okay? And then their overall energy, as I already mentioned, is trust in science. And I'm telling you, the chemistry, the, the book at the bottom, the chemistry is heavy, is what I need to finish that thought. But the book, I was drawn to this book at the bottom, which says, The Art of Critical Thinking. And I'm telling y'all, Y'all mirroring one another because this over here is talking about some heavy mental energy. And even this is, hey, somebody is intelligent as all get out and maybe so much so very analytical and in their mind. And that's crazy because it's bringing me mercurial energy, which Gemini and Virgo are ruled by. But you may want to check where Mercury is transiting in your chart. And um, I'm also drawn to the scarab beetle here at the bottom, which is to me all about, I believe it's a scarab beetle. I almost at first thought it was a bee, but either way it go, it's bringing the energy of transformation and working hard, okay? So y'all may be working hard to transform this relationship dynamic, yourself even. It's definitely something of um, higher level knowledge and or wisdom. And it's powerful because at the bottom of the um, overall headers, you got the seeker's journey. And I feel like that is, where that deck go? Okay, no, it's not. But that, I mean, the, this is the deck that we're using. It's a secret, this, uh, what is it called? The seeker oracle. So somebody is, is on a mission. This is bringing me high priestess energy, by the way. I don't know if y'all can see that. I really want this. Look, be a curious creature. I'm telling you. <laughs> open your mind, open your, open your, open your mind. That's what I keep hearing, Big Creek. But it's like this is this is talking about. It's also bringing um, Virgo energy, and I typically get with the High Priestess. I get Pisces, Virgo, Libra, Cancer energy, but it could be anybody. But anyway, this is like going deep on a deep dive within, you know, to learn more about yourself. Maybe that is with you two coming together, that is what you will be doing together. Maybe learning and journeying, learning more about one another in this relationship so it can be more solid and strong. And it may not be even what you think. So have an open mind, like I said, and that be neutral, right? Anyway, let's get into uh, your feelings towards them. <laughs> the chariot, Cancerian energy. You trying to move to them. You know what I'm saying? Listen how I said that. You're trying to, maybe y'all may be at a distance from one another, but uh, it's like, yeah, y'all want to go forward in a balanced fashion because the chariot to me can talk about, that's masculine energy, but it can talk about balancing the masculine and feminine within. And as I was saying on the secret journey, like that may be what you have already done or are in the process of doing either way. I feel like it's both. Um, the number seven may be important to someone. You may have been born in the month of July or on the 7th of any month, okay? Mm -hmm. Especially July. Um, it's something about July because with that Cancerian energy or something may be coming through during that season. Let's move on to their feelings towards you. Oh, wow. Queen of Cubs. We got love, love, love. You better believe it. My bad. I hope I can, I'll try to figure out how to blur that out because, listen, ain't nobody trying to get whatever. But, um, <laughs> nothing but love for you. Mm, I got nothing but love for you. That's what I'm hearing. Let me see if I can put something on this. Hold on. All right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I kick this thing one more time. I hope I ain't mess it up too bad. Hold on. I don't think I messed it up too bad. But anyway, and I hope this come off because I ain't trying to mess up my cards. But yeah, this Queen of Cups, again, Cancerian energy. And it's straight, like, feminine energy. It's crazy because we got both Cancerian energies. This is masculine and this is feminine. And then I say even from here, like, the balancing and are needing to um, be balanced and solid within in order to, or and or one. 
either of you are reflecting that to one another. Yeah, that's powerful. That's beautiful. This talks about that mothering, nurturing, healing, intuitive type of energy. The knowing. Yeah. Going back even to the high priestess. Mm -hmm. Cancer coming through strong. Somebody definitely was born in July. It's a July cancer. Okay. So moving on to uh, your past actions. We have judgment. Wow. I get, um, there's a lot of energies coming through here. Pisces, first one I heard, Scorpio, even with the Capricornic, the devil here, um, I get Capricorn energy. So somebody has made a decision with this 20 potentially being a two. Somebody has uh, made a decision about something. <laughs> and this is maybe you have prejudged. I told you it's like try to get out of your head or what you, what you, um, it's like a limited mindset is what I'm getting. Like open your mind, literally. You know what I'm saying? You may have had a change of heart and or mind here, especially with the judgment, because and that can talk about like reconciling or uh, a renewal potentially, right? If you haven't made the, this decision already, it's interesting that you got major arcana straight up. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Uh, uh, uh. Maybe that's what you're saying to them. This, that song came through um, last week, <laughs> so you might want to check that out if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, move to their past actions. And yeah, this the Eight of Swords in reverse. I don't know. If, I don't really think this deck is intended to be read in reverse, but it really doesn't matter. I give y'all what I see, feeling um, here intuitively, anyways. But I do love that it actually flipped out in reverse so you could see because it shows and it's telling me that somebody has they're not just got through saying about that mental confliction and restriction that's exactly what this is but it's self-limiting you know what i'm saying is is you have the power you are never stuck stagnant or confused that's you have the power to transmute that like and you already know that you know that you know you know what i'm saying especially with this high priestess energy keep coming through so there is really no need to even be conflicted like this. This can be air sign energy. I feel like I said it over here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but heavy on Gemini and even, um, yeah, that's what they said, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be. It's like that overanalyzing, overthinking, you know what I'm saying? Being self-critical, especially even with this judgment to come out in the same role and being oh, overthinking it, you know? Mm -mm. Just trust that. <laughs> I keep hearing it now. Um, um, do you believe in magic? Trust that, you know, the, the connection, the, the chemistry is already there. You know, <laughs> it's already configured is what I just heard. And what that's crazy because with, even with the, the bottom of the deck overall under our energy for the tarot is the page of cups. And that that's somebody coming through water energy, cancer, Pisces or Scorpio heavy on the Pisces here. Somebody and koi fish spirit may be a spirit guy talking to somebody, but anyway, somebody coming through with an offer, and it's up to you. The pages is like a new or even renewed offer because it comes after the ten of cups, which somebody has gone through some kind of lesson already or cycle within love, especially for Tiana Taylor. We got love to come out or whatever it is, but it's something that you definitely have love, do love, right, or are loving in love with, and it's like. Um, are you going to accept this new, right? Are you going, because it may be somebody from your past potentially for me to even get that reconciled energy, whoever it may be, whether it's friend, family or otherwise, will you, I told you, I felt like somebody already has made, for some of you, you already have made the decision. For some of you, there's gonna come a time where it's gonna cause for you to get out of this Eight of Swords energy and open your mind to really see things differently, be neutral about the situation. Because if this person is showing and proving that they have changed and transformed and they have worked on themselves, I said that um, with the Scarab Beetle, that if they're showing you new and different and that they have grown and evolved and changed, why not? It's because you have the opportunity to, you know what I'm saying? If you can do it, so can they. And if you would like another chance with whoever else, why not them? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. That's on you, though. <laughs> that is your decision to be made. So moving into your current potential actions or energy. Ooh, ooh, oh my gosh. 
We got the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups doubly confirmed, actually triply confirmed in the Seven, because remember the Chariot is a Seven. And the reason I said, ooh, like this, because baby. So first thing I got was, I'm telling y'all the air energy is, is tough for me. It, 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 it strikes a chord, you know, because that, that has taken a lot of work and still takes some work to free your mind, you know what I'm saying, of any low vibe negative thoughts, manipulation, um, self-degradation, you know what I'm saying, and even self-inflicted constrictions or self-limiting beliefs, whatever, what have you, all the low vibe list that goes on and on and on, potentially. Coupled with this seven of cups, that can talk about illusions and delusion. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't fall for the okie doke. I really don't like that. I don't care for these two together because it's like, this is a sneaky little devil right here. You see that fox hat on top of her head? You know, that's kind of cunning. Um, even bring me back, you know, the koi. The koi fish is, is to me, is more about prosperity, growth, abundance, even newness, like I said, coming through, the potential for it to come through. The fox energy can get a little bit, but the reason I was saying koi is because, you know, when we use the term koi, that's like um, kind of being cunning in a way, you know, being a little playful, I guess, more so than anything. But in this particular, with the fox, it can get that energy of sneaky, right? And with the seven of swords, that can be that kind of... Uh, lying deceptive maybe but i do like the the bright side of the seven of swords in that it's more strategic like she she you see the two of swords in her past right the decision has been made i said that with this judgment somebody has already made a decision and i feel like if it's more on a high vibe level if you have changed and transformed and opened your mind freed your mind from any low vibe negative thoughts then you are being the more positive uplifting energy of being strategic and um, with that arrow on her arm you have taken these other four swords to be honest or five because the one in her hand which can talk about that mental manipulation and that's my mind fucking card so it's like you have learned or will be learning and moving in a new direction to know that the mental manipulation that you have placed yourself in, right? Have been trapped in, stuck in, feeling confused or stagnant in is not the way to go. And prayerfully with the four swords on her back, you have taken the time to rest because the four swords talk about rest, rejuvenation, recovery. That's the R and R and R and R for me. And that's the Libra energy of being balanced especially mentally for these to be swords. So now you can move forward with the Ace of Swords in her hand with your Sword of Truth, right? And you can cut through this illusion with that sword in your hand and not be tempted by the snake because this is a seductress. This can be very tempting energy. It looks good, but remember, if you prejudge a situation, don't judge a book by its cover because uh, looks can be deceiving, right? Don't be duped. Because if you're in a low vibe of either of these energy, baby, you can be set up for the okie doke. Like your mind, my mind's playing tricks on me. That's what I just heard. So you got to be very, very careful. And that's crazy because even with that devil in this judgment, like, don't be tempted, honey. Do not be tempted. Because it's like the ego, yes, it's meant for protection, but the lower vibe essence of the ego can be. You know, by any means necessary, I'm going to get what I want. But is that really what you um, deserve? Is that really for the highest good? Is that really going to set you up for future growth and abundance to come? Are you going to be able to move solidly in your truth? Are you going to be able to stand in your truth and your integrity and authenticity going forward based off your actions? You understand what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, you just got to check it, you know? got to check yourself and we all got to do it from time to time because we can all get caught up in we want what we want but is it really what you need and for the best at that moment mm -hmm. that's for you to decide crazy speaking of that two of swords and i think i had picked them up so this really was kind of first but like i'm telling you i told you back here it's whoever this is both of y'all since you're mirroring one another you got the decision to make yes. you were never stuck she 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 that blindfold is um, owned by choice. And I feel like Spirit is telling you, you know, stop trying to, don't 
Don't look with your physical eyes because that looks can be deceiving. Like I just got through saying, you are never stuck. Get Instead of being in your mind, get into your, you see the water is behind her, right? And even that moon energy is, is really highlighting, get into the depths of your emotions. What do you feel? Even going for this May promotion, what do you feel wholeheartedly and passionately in your heart? Especially with this couple with the Ace of Cups. Somebody is truly making a decision on where they want to, who they want to get a cup to with that page of cups, who they want to give this, bring this offer to, right? This can be talking about even that self love, and you gotta do it for self first. I always tell y'all that you gotta give it to yourself first before you can expect to even give any of the overflow with these, with this cup overflowing to anybody else and or receive that. You know what I mean? So. It's all up to you, but somebody is truly, they, they don't work on it. I'm telling you, the, the proof is in the pudding. So, but it's up to you to use your, your discernment, right? Looks can be deceiving. Don't allow that snake to come through and, and trick you. <laughs> Why I'm here, snakes on the plane. That's funny. So anyway, your future potential actions. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Y'all got a lot of majors. It's this some heavy duty energy. I told y'all, y'all got, got a whole lot, a lot of going on. The tower, scorpionic energy, the number 16, potentially being another seven. And then the star, which is 17, potentially being an eight. Scorpionic energy and Aquarian energy. But it's like changes have got to come. And I do feel like it's heavy on the mental body so that you can get into this emotional body. Because even though um, the star, the Aquarian energy is, um, is air energy, heavy over here, right? But I... The Aquarian archetype is the water bearer, right? So to me, it's it's like a balance of the two. And that is definitely what is needed. You're gonna have for sure somebody gonna have to get up out their head, open their mind, free themselves and then low vibe negative thoughts and or manipulation of past self-inflicted constriction. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, you move your body, like get out that that helps um her dissipate, but that helps move and transform that energy some changes i mean ready or not it's coming and it's going it's coming uh, what that was to say hard heavy i don't know and quick some something like that hard and heavy it's getting it's getting it's getting kind of hip it's getting it's getting <laughs> that's what they said but so this tower comes whether you honestly ready or not but if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready so you know what's coming but it's 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 coming in divine fashion too and order because the, the sick the star comes right after the tower to come in for that healing this is aquarian energy of much needed healing and rejuvenation especially of the mindset right with the, this being air energy but also i feel like of whatever of, of heart and you being able to get your wishes hopes dreams and desires to come into fruition because you have worked on your mindset because the all is mine that is how you manifest y'all what you think and believe so shall it be what you put your mindset and energy towards so shall it be so be very mindful very mindful okay all right moving on to their future potential try not to miss this whole stack up wow five of swords mm. It's crazy because in this five of swords, you see like, obviously I just got through saying even with the seven of swords, that's why like swords is, is, is tough. It's tough. It's a touchy subject for me. But, um, but I take it as though, like, even though this can, the whole energy of the five of swords can talk about, like I said, the mental mind factory, that manipulation, trying to win by any means necessary. And, you know, just conflicting thoughts, you know, running around and around about, past woes and, and depressions and things that have really just taken you down through there. I feel like it's like the journey is coming. Remember, Seeker's journey? Whoever this is that has been in this energy <clears throat> or may find themselves in this energy is hopefully trying to move to a higher level of thought, of more of a sound mind, right? Learning not to manipulate, but understanding that that has caused with this three of swords right here has caused that heartbreak and pain heartache and pain and being stuck with the eight of swords member down there being stuck it's crazy because the eight of swords and the five eight minus five is three and those are the ones that are highlighting right here that is crazy but anyway somebody is moving to 
higher wisdom, you know, uh, um, because the white, the cloud, like you're coming out of the illusion, I pray, of feeling or seeming stuck. Because both of these, the eight of swords and the two, and that's crazy because the eight of swords and the two of swords is the ten of swords, and that's done data. Ending that, whether it was self-inflicted or not, that backstabbing type of low vibe, you know, remember what I said about the list going on and on and on, um, self-deprecating, um, degrading, just too analytical or critical of thyself, speaking, just not speaking love and light in your life, you know, being negative or being depressive and low down, that is not where you want to be. And that's not, that's not the energy that you really want to be in to manifest because you can still manifest from this space, but that ain't what you want. I promise you that. So it's like somebody may have even had, um, because with the science, I'm hearing a biochemical, like some kind of, um, um, chemical imbalance. Mm -hmm. which may have thrown them off. You know, you may have, or they may have thought you was crazy or some kind of way like that. I don't know, child, but that's what I just got. So let's move on to y'all overall advice or energy going forward. It's the power of love, which ooh, love transforms all in love. We got two, we got humility and evolution. And I, I feel like that's what I said from the get go in order for y'all to evolve. But, it, but humility says, you have developed a loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. Mm -hmm. Told y'all y'all reflect on one another, right? You just may have gone through slightly different battles, what I just heard, but it's still all one and the same. The lesson, I feel like the ultimate lesson is the same and it's a even for somebody. Somebody really, I heard taking it hard. Cause then I say hard, heavy, like it's coming quick, fast in a hurry. The changes are, but it's like you've been through quite a bit here quite a bit and evolution says you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to learn mm -mm -mm. this this green that's crazy because that is talking about number one the earth energy and being grounded even in your heart space in that healing energy and the um, beautiful thing is i have a jade candle over here burning and that is so much powerful healing and of course it is green and so that may be what you want to work with whether it's jade in and of itself, the color green especially, right? Eating green foods, whatever, what have you. Just being grounded, getting in the earth and getting grounded so that whoever, especially in this heavy mental mind manipulative energy can really heal, okay? Bottom of the deck, friendliness. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. <laughs> it's the chemistry for me. It is. Let's put this over here, I guess. But yeah, yeah, it's all in the chemistry for me. I love that because look, the bubbles in this friendliness and the bubbles in the in the beaker. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something bubbling to the surface. Your feelings, your wishes, hopes, dreams, and desires coming into fruition. Mm-hmm. But yeah. That's where I'm going to leave it, y'all. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means I'm in your testimony down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, but especially and including yourselves. And I pray that's what you're here for. Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. I truly appreciate you. Thank you for that. You have no idea how much it helps to get the message out to others who are in need. Okay? If you want to join me for any other type of video or any other you and them, please check the playlist on my channel. I hope and pray you find what you're looking for, and I hope and pray to see you there. If not, please take care. I love you, and I thank you anyway. Until the next one, y'all be easy. Don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. Peace.